Hey everyone, Beyond Sims here today, and I'm super, super excited to be able to finally revive this series, which I have been meaning to do for years now, but I've just never got around to it. Years ago now, I started a Sims 2 Let's Play, and it's been quite popular. People really wanted more parts of it, and I'm finally here to kickstart that again now with a brand new Let's Play of The Sims 2. A while back, I popped up a poll on my Twitter, which is at Beyond Sims, and I asked you, what did you want to see? I gave you some options of The Sims 4, Sims 3, Sims 2, I think some mobile games were in there, and Sims 2 was at the top alongside mobile as well. So, lots of new stuff coming. Only downside is I've got a really crap upload speed now, so <laughs> it's going to be a bit painful doing videos, but I, it's, it's, it'll be fine. It's going to be good. I can't wait. I've now moved house. You'll see here, new backdrop here. Not the best. Just got a curtain and a bit of light beaming in, but I've now moved house. Things are now calm. I've finished university, and that means I've got just you guys in the evenings now and weekends when I am free. So... Enough talking and introductions, let's dig right in to my favourite world of Pleasant View here, which I've got loaded up, I have added in all the towns and cities, universities, downtown, everything like that is all ready to go and we've got every single pack installed. So this is essentially going to be a let's play and throughout it, based on what you guys want to see, we're going to shape that. So if you wanted to see a sim go off to university, we will do that. If you wanted to see them go downtown, if you want to see them open a business, we will do that. So it's really down to you guys and how you interact with this and you can shape where this goes. But to begin with, we're gonna start with the basics and actually make ourselves a sim. So we're gonna make ourselves an individual sim and get them moved in somewhere and then we're gonna get them a job and just get them basically their foundation made out in this one um, and go from there basically. Oh, so exciting. It really upsets me that I've had to actually turn down things like the music when I'm playing this just because it Oh, it's just so nostalgic and I just want it on full blast, but I think that would definitely get me a copyright claim So <laughs> I've avoided that the best I can Now let's make one and we're gonna call them the beyond family just because why? Not so let's go right in here and start making our sim and in fact We're gonna go with this as a template and annoyingly, Sims 2 doesn't have like a generator, so you can't like generate them a random name, because I'm useless at naming people. So you know what? I'm gonna go for the first name that has just popped into my head, which is Sarah. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes, um, and we'll start working on that. She is an adult, and let's just go straight in. Now with The Sims 2, I always find that I always end up having my Sims all look the same, because I always go for all these predefined like faces and stuff, I don't have any custom content. Back in the day, I used to have gigabytes upon gigabytes of custom content, it would take forever to load, but that was a lot because I used to make machinima, it wasn't very good machinima, but I used to make machinima, and maybe so I've just got a great video idea, I'm gonna do a reaction video to what my old machinimas, you wait and see, it's, oh my god, they're tragic. So, <laughs> let's go in and start customising our sim. Now, I've, because I always play on my Mac a lot of the time, the Mac doesn't have anything past a Bon Voyage in terms of expansion packs, so I've not really played much with things like some of the stuff packs, like bathroom and kitchen, mansion and garden, and also expansions like free time and apartment life. So a lot of these hairstyles I've never actually seen myself, and I quite like them actually, they are really nice, and you can see there it all comes in all these different colours before like we had all the different colour swatches and stuff like that, and oh my gosh, they're so much better than some of the default stuff you get in the game. You can see there like the witches stuff, because Apartment Life brought witches and wizards into the game, um, albeit not the greatest, but they were definitely added in there. Um, and then we get to things like, see this is probably one of my all time favourite cuts in the game, which I think I may go for for this sim. I absolutely love it. But you can see there's just so many weird and wonderful things, and to be honest some of them are a little bit dated now, because you've got to remember this was obviously released in 2004. So I mean, as of the base game is almost four, um, yeah, 14 years old now. Mad. And it still holds up so well though. So we'll go with that. Um, in terms of their actual face and stuff, I'm quite happy with how she looks. And for some reason, the UI is just covering my sim up. Whatever. Uh, we'll give her some nice deep blue eyes. And I like how she looks. We'll keep her like that in terms of face and stuff. Now, this is where I probably give them 
some really bad makeup and I'm and you can't like do the old like um opacity and uh, transparency and all of that stuff on this game it literally is just got to slap it on and hope that they look okay now I used to always like have really visible makeup on it like back in the day when I used to play it um back in my youth um oh god no we're not giving you any of that we'll say no to the face paints as well <laughs> what are these Oh, they're ridiculous. So, oh, these are quite funky, though, aren't they? They go with her top. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. I'm resisting. Eyebrow style. Oh, girl. Yas, queen. You work those eyebrows. Oh, my. Oh. Yeah, but it will give you some eyebrows. Um, and oh, I think something's weird where I've made this, like, widescreen and stuff. Because The Sims um, 2 wasn't really made for res m many resolutions past a certain size. And I think that's why the UI... Is covering everything. Oh well, I guess we can't have it all. It's an old game. So, an everyday outfit. Let's have. Really was. I'm sure there was some more tops added. Hmm. Apparently, there was no tops added after open for business. Apparently, I'm pretty sure it's open. For, yeah. What the hell? I'm pretty sure we are missing some tops here. Because you can see there, there's some H&M stuff. Maybe they just went into full outfits. Oh, they must have. Because there's crap tons of stuff in the outfits category. Okay. I'll let them go. I'm loving these jeans from H&M. I was just surprised there's no tops and stuff. We're definitely missing stuff. So, this is a bug. <laughs> I'm certain there's more stuff. Maybe not. There's bound to be. Apparently not. I mean... These kind of hold up reasonably well. I quite like this top. Um, I do, yeah, I do like it. You know what? I might go for it. Treat yourself. Treat yourself to that top girl. Mm-hmm. We're going to go with that. And let's see what you can wear for formal. Maybe something formal? Sure, we'll go with... Oh, my gosh, no. I don't like that pink... Oh, my God, no. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. Yes, you can go... With yes. Yes, you can go with that. Yeah. <laughs> Pajamas. Now, that looks quite cosy. I like that. See, I've never seen these before. I've not played with this, these stuff packs. I've not played with this Ultimate Edition of The Sims 2. They released it back in, I think it was 2014, for a little while. You could redeem it with the code I love The Sims, and everybody got it for free. I don't know why they haven't sold it on Origin, because they used to sell The Sims 2 on Origin. It would make so much money, especially as they sell The Sims 2 on the Mac App Store. It's mad. Sure. Athlete. Yeah, I mean, that's modern, I guess. But we'll go with that one there. You can see here, I'm kind of going for a vibe where she has a splash of pink and everything here. And again, yeah, we're going to go with that. So, because we are making an individual sim here, I feel like our end goal amongst everything we end up doing will be where she eventually has a family and a new generation and all that fun stuff amongst everything else that's going on. So I'm going to pick the family aspiration, um, because why not? And we'll leave her as an Aquarius. Um, and what her turn-ons are. Muscle. Everybody loves a bit of fitness and muscle in their life. Why not? And charismatic, hard worker, great cook. Great cook, because food is life. Food is life. And we'll make it she doesn't like it when people stink. Why not? So... Let's go with that and accept our sim. Here she is, ready to rock and roll, ready to take on the world. So, let's head on in to the world of Pleasant View and see what house we can actually afford. And then watch me get absolutely bankrupt and fail because I only know how to play with Motherload and Max Motive cheats. So, what's the most cheapest one that we can get here? I mean... That one's a reasonable price. It's not too bad. That one's too expensive because we only have 20,000. Um, because in this game, no matter how big the family was, you only had 20,000 to start with. Whereas in Sims 3, Sims 4, it depends how many people you've obviously got living with you and stuff. I mean, these are probably the best cheapest wise. And then we could probably move into something a little bit bigger with time. I could build something, but I feel like I'd end up spending quite a lot. I mean, that's cheaper as well, but that looks a lot bigger. I'm not too keen on that particular... Oh. Why not? Let's go for it. Yes. 
I'm pretty sure I hate this house. I remember just years ago moving families in here, not liking them that much. So we will see. So the Beyond family is ready to go. Oh, this is so exciting. Ah! Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Okay. Oh, I miss these cinematics so much. Right, what's your new crib like? Hey MTV, welcome to my crib, and it is disgusting. But at least it has some of the essentials inside of it, so we can stock her up with um, some lovely things here, like a fridge. Mm, always needed. She doesn't have a bed either, so let's get her something basic-ish. So remember, as of all Sims games, I say it's probably more the case in The Sims 1 and The Sims 2. I don't really pay attention to it in The Sims 3 and 4. You've got your comfort and the energy. So remember, there's a lot more motives that you need to fulfill in The Sims 2 and Sims 1. So you kind of pay attention to what benefits it gives your Sims when you're buying them a bit more. I think that's an Ikea bed, you know. And I'm pretty sure it looks the same like that these days. Um, right. I might give her... Oh, that's a bit expensive, isn't it, really? Um, let's... Go with... Well, I don't know, I think it's a bit ugly to be honest, but... And all the bedding's so dated, oh my gosh. No, I'm not about this life. This is really stressful being able to find something here. I mean, I did say a splash of pink, didn't I? Oh my god. It's ugly. Let's go for it. We'll give her a bedside cabinet as well. Why not? Treat yourself. These still exist. My housemate has bought these. These definitely exist. Oh my gosh. Ikea, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, I guess. Right, let's go on in here, add in a cheeky... Oh, God, that doesn't look nice, does it? That's disgusting. That is actually disgusting. Let's give you maybe something a bit more funky than that. Come on, turn the right way. There, we go. that looks all... As you can tell, I am not the sim supplier. I cannot build houses, but I can, um... Play Sims, kind of. Right. This is actually the dress that my friend has as well. What the hell? I quite like how compact they are, to be honest. This is brilliant. This is saving us all sorts of space. Um, and maybe we can just throw a rug down, maybe? Give her a little something? Like, I don't know. Let's give her a... We'll give her a plant. Let's pop that in there. The music. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to turn it down a little bit, though, because... Your girl's going to get a copyright strike. Um, just because YouTube is so funny with copyright and stuff recently. So, got to be careful. As sad as it is. So, that rug. Let's have a quick look. Oh, these are like the old disco-like floors you could get. Um, oh my god, these rugs are tiny. You ain't having a rug, girl. These are all disgusting. Mm, that's not the right dimensions. I mean... Oh, it's awful. You know what, I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. As tragic as it is, we'll just pop up a picture frame. <laughs> that will help, of course. Um, no. Oh, yeah, we'll put a freezer buddy one up. So, this house is tragic. So, we also need a place to eat and a place to lounge about as well. So, to eat, maybe I can pop this on the upstairs here. We have a little outdoor patio. Um, have a little glass table. And we'll have some little chairs that we can pop out there. Um, I'll just go with these, I think. Because these are kind of your generic outdoor-looking chairs. Why not? And then down here, we've now got a bit more space for a mini living room. Um, I'm not quite sure what I want to furnish that with. I mean, hmm, maybe I'll just go for, like, the usual one of these, maybe. Um, in white. go pop that there have I got space for that no that wouldn't it can't fit in can she because the stairs are there but because the stairs are there I can pop in something like a bookshelf so we can help her skill up for her job of course fab just make sure I don't forget that's there and probably need a TV as well and we will pop the television oh I like this one this one's funky but it's very expensive, so I got to go for something a bit more basic. This is actually tragic. Like, poor girl. Bless her. Um, you need a telephone in this game as well. So 
We'll put the telephone there. And finally, we'll get her a computer because she deserves that. That's the least she deserves, some sort of interaction uh, with the outside world. Um, and we will give her... Wait, no. They deliver a free computer in this game. I'm not buying a computer. You get Rod Humble showing up your door. Mm -hmm. um, who uh, helps you uh, with a computer. So, oh god, these chairs are grim. Um, let's just go for a basic one at the moment. Sorry, hon, you're going to have to... It's not going to be the most comfortable thing to sit on. But I'm sure you will be fine. And then finally, that to top it off. What an awful house. Ah, she needs a mirror as well, of course. Let's get her a mirror for the bathroom wall. And we've still got a bit of money left, actually. I'm quite surprised by the amount of money with this bathroom, this bedroom even. It makes me so, so sad. Like, so sad. Maybe I should, like, shuffle it around a bit, like, utilise some more space. I mean, that looks a bit better. But it's still absolutely awful. Oh, well. Right, I'm going to stop running it down now. It's fantastic. It's beautiful. It's unique. Okay. And we'll put uh, that there for her. Yeah, that will do for now. Because we are broke as fuck. So, here we are. Always the first thing a sim needs to do in this game is always use the toilet and have some fun in their life somewhere. So, we'll let her do her business. And then we can find a new job once this computer shows up and hopefully get her meeting some new people and all of that. Oh, fire alarm. Sims are so prone to burning things in this game. It's unreal. In fact, I'm going to get her to increase... What's that? Couples counselling. Oh, oh, this must be all from free time. So we've also got seasons on and we're currently in the autumn and then we're going to work our way through because I really love the fall and winter and spring seasons so I always try to avoid summer where I can uh, in The Sims um, because, you know, why not? Who, who needs that in their life? So, oh, her environment is so bad in this place. Let's stick up a... That's another thing in this. There's no moodlets. It's like the environment meter that can really drag them down if you've got a really ratchet looking house. Um, and then that'll make them miserable when they go to work. Oh my gosh, it's it's such a constant battle. So I can see why in The Sims 3 they removed that, so you could focus more on actually just like playing and all that good stuff. But, you know, can't all do that, can we? Um, you know, I'm just going to shove in a rug. Oh my god, no. I don't think I am going to shove in a rug. Cause that. Why are all these rugs... Disgusting. That's what I want to know. Who designed these rugs? Because if you designed them, you know. Mm -mm. There's something. I mean, because you can't have things diagonal without cheats. Oh my gosh, I hate it. But I don't care. Not even. I didn't even do anything for her anyway. Right. What? Um. That's a bug. I've, that's never. You know what? I'm going to blame that on um, free time <laughs> and all that stuff. That's never happened in my game. We're getting all the bugs today. Right. So, find what job's in the paper. If it's any good, we'll go for it. If not, we'll wait for this computer to show up. Science career? Maybe. Anything else in there? Military career? No. Pays well, though business. Sure, we'll take that. Brilliant. <gasps> Carpool, yes, we can get cars. <gasps> Forgot all about cars. Architecture. Yeah, this must be mansion and garden. I've never seen these. Wow. Yeah, towards like, the end of The Sims 2's life, for whatever the reason was at the time, probably because, believe it or not, I, the way I used to find out about new Sims games was by um, reading... Like, in the back of the boxes, it would, like, tease the next pack. So, I remember when I got one, it would be like, oh, Seasons is coming later this year. And I wouldn't think to check the website. I never knew there was a website. I used to literally go into our local supermarket, and if it was there, I'd pick it up. By pick it up, I mean I would, like, beg my family to get it for me. Um, oh, yeah, you can't really afford a car right now, can you? Well, looks like we're getting one of these. Is there like a hot pink or anything like that? Like something really colourful? I'll just go for a white one. Change owner, Sarah. Bless her. So the carpool will no longer come for her because we've now got a car. 
And I, I, here we go, here's Rod Humble here to tell us all about The Sims 3, which is totally coming soon. Um, he used to be um, one of the VPs at Max's for a period of time. Um, and then he left, I believe, to go to the games company Zynga. Zynga? Zynga? Well, however you say their name. So yeah, that's what happened there. So SimCity Chronicle can go up there. And this computer can go here. So there's a tip for you. Never order a computer if you've got free time. So let's play The Sims 3. Wow, The Sims 3. They, oh, this shows like such an early version of it. I love it. Um, I guess it was their way of obviously teasing that it was happening. I mean, look at this. Everybody lost their mind when they first saw this. And then we realised that it was a laggy mess, eventually. But at the time when it came out, it was so exciting. Just as time went on. You can see this is buttery smooth. Sims 3, just, just laggy at the core. Right, you do your thing, get your fun up. Fantastic. Brilliant. Enthusiasm in games, so you can talk about it with other sims. Fantastic. So, let's attempt to... Oh my gosh, you can't really make much, can you? Let's make a lunch meat sandwich. Oh my god, friends. Stop, stop, stop. You need to make friends. Who can we make friends with? I think she needs a girlfriend, so we will greet here with an earthy hug. Let's see if she likes that. Bitch, don't lounge about. you got company. Come on. Good, there we go. There we go. So this is Nina Caliente. So her, if you remember, her and her sister are, you know, kind of like the scandals in the town. And she seems like a bit of a bitch, to be honest, based on that. That's like the first thing she does. We already hate her. So let's just try and chat with her. Just try and get the relationship up a little bit more so that they're reasonable friends. Or, you know, just something. Because we've got to get our social bar up as well. You know what, Nina, I'm going to tell you to leave in a minute, because my sim clearly isn't getting on with you. <laughs> Come on. Okay, it's, better. it's getting better. The daily relationship and the lifetime one. Entertain. I don't think it's time to try a joke yet. Ooh, hello, Darren. So at least you know someone's interested in our sim. Come on. They sometimes get along, but it just seems like they're a bit of a... Uh, I don't know. Let's try admiring her. I don't know how well this is going to go. So I feel like social interactions in The Sims 4 are a bit easier to do. So when you go back to like The Sims 2 and The Sims 1, it's a lot more difficult than you remember. But it looks like they're finally on the daily one at the top here, getting a little bit better. We've got the matchmaker there, which we could always call one day to get our hot date um, and take them out to enjoy the nightlife and have a late night. And then they may get together. I thought that was quite clever, to be honest, for on the spot. If you got those references, um, please let me know, because otherwise that's just really, really awkward if you didn't. Let's try admiring you again. Let's try a joke with you now. Do you like my jokes? Yes, girl. You like my jokes. Cool. So, let's try playing a game of catch and see if they get on there as well. Okay. Good. So, they're getting on well for, like, the... So, in case you don't know, the top bar is, like, the, like, daily uh, meter. And then the bottom one's the lifetime one. So, you need to get both up if you want them to be, like, best friends and stuff. Um, I used to always find that impossible. Because they added that in in The Sims 1, living it up, I believe, that extra bar. And at first, it was just so confusing and difficult. Will she accept a hug? Probably not. Let's serve some mac and cheese for this girl. See, we're a good host. We are welcoming her into our household here, even though she was being a bit of a bitch. Grubs up. See, she can smell... Oh, okay, we're taking it up already to serve it up. Nice. I forgot the table was up there. I could have probably popped it out on the lawn, to be honest. See, she knows she's getting some grub. She knows. Uh, she was just going like that with the... I'm going to ignore these. Awesome. That's so good. Even for today, like... Sims knew. She served up. She's come back up. They're chatting. So good. So, so good. All the phone's ringing. It was ringing. 
maybe we should get our sim a mobile phone. We can get those from the vending machines, um, which came with the university, so that might be something to do. My god, that's made the moon a bit blue, hasn't it? Right. Eat your food. That really didn't fill you up. That really didn't fill you up. Have another. Oh my word. And we've got no lights in this house either. Oh my gosh. Maybe that's why we've got money left over. Right. Let's pop some of these about. One, two, three, four, five. And then get some outdoor ones to pop on here. Oh my god, they're huge. Um, there we go. That's what we're looking for. One, two, three, four. There we go. That will do. Fab. Good, you're a bit more full up now. Oh, see, even Nina's coming back up now because she's hungry. So... What have we done so far? We've managed to make our sim, we've moved the moon into their ratchet home. I don't know why I keep saying that word. I think I was in America last week and one of my friends there kept saying it and it just rubs it just rubs off on me, you know. I need to I need to work on my English, to be honest, which I should know how to speak, really, but apparently I don't. And you know, we've managed to relieve her bladder. Um got her a friend got her a job amazing so we've got all the foundations there ready to kind of take this somewhere whether that's university nightlife business getting a dog whatever it is holiday when we can afford it it's all there ready so i really want you guys to get involved if you enjoyed this please leave a comment let me know what you want to see do you want her to have a family do you, you know a lot of the time um with the previous let's play everybody really really wanted to see um my sim have like more children see the baby grow up and all that fun stuff so that might be something that we could look at doing as well stop wait a minute there's burglars in this game so just gonna be safe forgot all about that um and oh my gosh that's disgusting um so yeah let me know let me know in the comments and i'm gonna get to work uh -huh, more references which were not intentional um, on making more parts of these um, and yeah we're going to make sure this is a regular occurrence and if you were following it as well the sims mobile let's play will also be making a comeback very soon it's just been very difficult to upload videos when you don't have internet and when you're not in the country so i'll see you all in the next video let me know what you think and be sure to visit beyondsims.com as always if you want to have all the latest news and previews for the sims and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching guys